Welcome back. You're joining us on NewsX. I'm Udhar Pratap Singh. According to sources, Eknath Chinde and Ajit Pawar are to leave for Delhi at 7.30 p.m. today. They are likely to gather at Om Birla's residence. Sources tell us that they are to meet Union Home Minister Amit Shah then late at night. These are the big breaking details coming in. Anand Singh is joining us for more on this story. Anand, big news coming out of Mumbai. Eknath Shinde and Ajit Pawar are to leave shortly for Delhi. Has Devendra Fadnavis already left? Or will they all be on the same flight? Yeah, look, uh, the, the fresh information that we got from the NCP and uh, Siv Sena led by Sindhe faction that uh, the Chief Minister Eknath Sindhe and uh, even deputy, his deputy Ajit Pawar will be leaving for the national capital and it is being said that they will be leaving for the national capital around 7.30 p.m. and uh, they will be first attending a function at the residence of uh, Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla and then it is likely that they are going to meet with uh, BJP leadership over there as uh, earlier in the day, in the evening, Devendra Fadnavis uh, too left for the national capital. So it is being said that the uh, meeting of all three leaders is uh, supposed or likely to take place uh, late at night today with uh, Amit Shah and JP Nadda over there in Delhi. Back to you. Absolutely. Uh, uh, now, what are the meetings scheduled for later tonight? What are your sources telling you? Where will the meetings be taking place? Who all will be part of the meetings? What's on the agenda? Yeah, look, the, the way in which earlier uh, we spoke to several of the senior BJP leaders over here and if we mention about one top leader that was Vinay Sarasthamudhi, then he clearly mentioned that there can be a big uh, uh, BJP face that can be announced for Maharashtra. However, he didn't reveal the name. But if we talk about the meeting of all the three leaders with BJP leadership, then they have not revealed the uh, timing of the meeting yet, but they have only said that uh, the meeting can happen late at night as all the three leaders will be first attending a function at the residence of Om Birla, who is also the Lok Sabha speaker. And then only uh, any further meeting can take place with the top BJP leadership to discuss the Maharashtra formula for next five years that what will be, who will be leading the state and who will be their deputies and what all other cabinet portfolio needs to be shared with each and every alliance partner. So these are the, the key details that will be on the cards of all the three leaders when they meet the senior BJP leadership over there. However, the timing has not been confirmed and even the venue uh, they have not revealed but it is being said that the meeting might take place at the residence of either J.P. Nadda or uh, Amit Shah over there. Who is so leading the, the race currently that to be Chief Minister of Maharashtra, Anand Singh? Yeah, well, they look, uh, the BJP and all the three parties have remained completely tight-lipped that who will be the chief minister or deputy chief minister. But uh, if we look at the previous arrangements, then the, all the parties have claimed that uh, they would like to see Devendra Fadnavis or uh, Eknath Sinde. All right, Rad Lakshmi Joshi, political analyst, is joining but, us uh, now live. Rad Lakshmi Joshi, uh, a, a big uh, meeting likely to happen tonight itself. All the top leaders of the Mahayuti will be in a huddle in the national capital. Ajit Pawar and uh, Eknath Shinde likely to leave by 7.30 p.m. for Delhi is what our sources are telling us. Who is leading the race according to you? What are the factors that will be considered by the alliance in determining their CM choice? Uh, is that question for me, Uday? Absolutely. Uh, yes, uh, good evening, Uday. Thank you for having me on your show. Uh, right now, what I see is the ball and the verdict and everything seems to be in the BJP's court. Because the BJP obviously has the numbers and uh, Devendra Fadnavis ji has actually led the, the government in the past also from 2014 to 2019 uh, very successfully at that. And even in 2019 also, the verdict was entirely in his favour, very frankly. Though what happened later was a big turmoil and, uh, you know, things uh, 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 went bad and uh, the situation was something completely different from what the people in Maharashtra wanted. But now, once again, there has been this overwhelming response, this overwhelming verdict in favor of the BJP especially, with the strike rate of more than 
so i think that uh, obviously it will be very difficult for anybody to reject the idea of devendra fadnavis as the cm and at the same time if you look at the two alliance partners where eknath chinde definitely among the two uh, alliance partners mr eknath chinde definitely has the upper edge he having been the uh, uh, incumbent cm and obviously there is this question of continuity but at the same time you know then that will actually bring up questions from mr ajit pawar scam asking that we are also actually equally contributing to all these numbers and we are also having a very good strike rate right now so that is why they should also be in contention so then there will be this thing about uh, the two to one kind of a formula where two years one party two years another party so i think that that kind of, instead of having that kind of a formula the bjp would definitely want to go in for one single phase for the entire 5 years and i think that that actually seems to be heavily tilted in favor of devendra fadnavis right now unless the bjp very desperately wants him to be the bjp president in the days to come okay. so uh, if only that could be the only reason why he would not be okay uh, tejas mehta senior to... journalist also with us now live tejas mehta uh, ajit pawar eknath shinde expected to leave for delhi tonight Uh, they are going to be having a meeting late at night with Amit Shah, J.P. Nadda also to be present for that meeting. Uh, it seems that a decision will be taken tonight itself on who will be the next Maharashtra Chief Minister. What do you believe are the factors that will lead to that final choice? Who is ahead in the race according to you? Well, be it uh, Maharashtra, be it any other state, be it the centre, the norm has always been that the single largest party. Uh, in any alliance, uh, you know the preference goes to them to really elect, uh, you know, a leader for the entire alliance, and that face becomes ultimately the chief minister's face. Uh, it has happened in Maharashtra. It has happened elsewhere, and that's exactly what uh, uh, you know the Mahayuti needs to do. They need to go back to the 2014, uh, you know, norm. Uh, and I have seen it in Maharashtra through various governments, uh, be it Ashok Rao Chavan, uh, be it uh, Vilas Rao Deshmukh, uh, Prithvira Chavan, of course, came in uh, midterm. But uh, all these leaders, uh, you know, the Congress then was the single largest party. So it was the norm was that uh, the the second largest party they would get they would ask for the in, in, the, in during those days the NCP would seek for the Home Minister. Or, or the finance finance dep department's portfolios. I think we need to return to that because I think with this huge, humongous victory, uh, somewhere you know we have forgotten what these last five years have been absolutely tumultuous, and uh, you know given it, that you don't even know which uh, party is in which alliance one day, the names are changing, leaders are changing. What Maharashtra requires first of all is respect for this humongous verdict, and that comes by. Ensuring there is stability. Now, what happens if Eknath Chinde decides that he wants to be chief minister? The BJP gives in. There will be a lot of animosity, lot of bickering between both the Shiv Sena and you know uh, the BJP because naturally all their workers or their leaders are going to be you know disturbed that they are the ones who are bringing in the votes. It's it's through their name. Larki Behen scheme also is actually been imported from. uh you know madhya pradesh so what is the chief minister's contribution i'm not saying that he is not a popular leader he is he is a maratha he is uh, you know uh, uh, also very you know connected with the common man he has his pluses but the numbers are simply not with him otherwise right. they would have said okay let's divide it uh, since we are starting all afresh let's divide the number of seats equally between us like how the the mba did and from then from there we decide which okay. is the strongest party that has not happened lastly remember the the, the as uh, you know uh, rajendra shmi pointed out that ekna chinde does have the edge compared to uh, you know the ncp which prafun patel has already said they're not in the race now so but ekna chinde also has to remember that even for this election they had to loan leaders from the bjp like somebody like shaina nc so they don't have the leaders in that sense to really you know get the numbers they have not contested those many seats so okay so the, the norm is, is that the is single largest party should have the cm's chair uh, which is what would lead you to believe that it is devendra fadnavis or someone for the bjp okay more news coming in this hour stay with us according to sources post the election loss the sharad pawar faction of mlas are holding a meeting at the yashwantrao chavan center we are being told anand singh is joining us for more on this story anand 
Uh, Sharad Pawar, faction of the NCP MLA is in a huddle right now. What's on the agenda for this meeting? Yeah, uh, look, there we are standing at this uh, Yashwant Rao Chavan Centre and here only Sarit Pawar is holding a key meeting with all his newly elected MLAs and most of the senior party leaders over here were already Anil Deshmukh, Rohit Pawar and several other top leaders of uh, the NCPSP faction have arrived over here and while speaking to media just a while ago, uh, Rohit Pawar, first of all, he uh, refuted the claims that were made by BJP leader Ram Shinde who had uh, act alleged that uh, Ajit Pawar didn't campaign for him and he questioned Ram Shinde that before making such a statement he should tell that why Union Home Minister who had given time for Sin Ram Shinde uh, Yes, we'll come to that, Ram we'll come to that breaking in just a bit uh, uh, Anand, but uh, I would just want to take this forward with Priya Segal for a second, Editorial Director of NewsX who's also live with us. Uh, Priya, uh, Sharad Pawar, NCP MLA is in a huddle right now. Uh, you know, one wonders now what is going to be the future of uh, Sharad Pawar, given the fact that his party has been reduced to just 10. Uh, that is one big question. Also, interestingly, he is the one who had predicted yesterday itself that there is going to be a BJP CM now in Maharashtra. It's not going to be Eknath Shinde. Uh, one wonders whether that prophecy will come true or not. Perhaps we'll only know tomorrow. Also, Sharad Pawar saying that, you know, we don't know because there is could be a lot of mischief making uh, being done over there also. So let's wait a while. I'd rather hear it from the BJP camp rather than from Sharad Pawar. Sharad Pawar also is very desperately holding on to his own people. You know, he's uh, worried that there may be an exodus away from him because he also announced this is going to be my last election. I mean, he's been saying it for a while, but now age is definitely not on his side and neither are the numbers. So, you know, I don't know what the future is for Sharad Pawar and his, for his MLAs. So, they, he's holding flock together. He's, you know, all these meetings and all are there just to make sure that no one really uh, goes to the other side. Uh, but in terms of who is going to be the next CM, I heard the other panelists and I do agree that BJP does have the upper hand because they can choose, you know, I they don't even need, they can break any of the other parties if need be to become the CM. So, for them, anyone to refuse the BJP, BJP at this point is going to be difficult unless the refusal comes from BJP itself. You know, let's not forget the inner politics within the BJP. Devan the Fadnavis is not Amit Shah's first choice. That's why, you know, part of the reason why even his earlier, you know, when he had to become deputy CM uh, in this uh, last government, outgoing government, was largely because of this reason. So he will have to play, um, uh, decide whatever uh, the centre decides for him, he'll have to play uh, ball with that. Um, having said that, he does have the RSS backing. So, you know, it's not just going to be Devendra Fadnavis. It's going to send a lot of signals if Devendra Fadnavis wins and becomes the chief minister. That means RSS has helped. RSS has helped sway. Also, over the, uh, you know, Amit Shah and uh, Modi calculations. So, that's also going to be interesting to watch. If Amit Shah uh, manages to succeed and, you know, from the BJP to have somebody, but uh, anybody other than Devendra Fadnavich also will not work. If it's the BJP CM, it has to be Devendra Fadnavich. How do you then justify it to him, the poor man, that, look, again, we are making a BJP CM, but it's not you. So, that will not happen. So, if the BJP makes a CM, is Devendra Fadnavich. If they do not, then they'll make Ekna Chinde. And some kind of consolation prize will be given to Fadnavis. I don't think uh, BJP president, you know, I heard Raj Lakshmi, yes, that is doing the rounds. But um, again, is that is not something Amit Shah and all will like. So, you know, what kind of a compensation will be given to him? Will he be just happy with another union cabinet like Sarban Sonowal? I doubt it. You know, he will want something meteor, but is he in a position to demand that something meteor is the big question. Ekna Shinde as CM, somehow I know it goes against logic, but you know, some instinct tells me that Ekna Shinde could, you know, become, because Ajit Pawar has already said I am not in the race. Um, he will be happy with some meaty, weighty portfolios, finance and etc, etc. Uh, this um, Ekna Shinde, the entire election was fought on Ekna Shinde's governance paradigm. You know, the Ladli Bhena was his idea. Very key, interestingly, he didn't announce it during um, the Lok Sabha elections. Where could have even benefited uh, Modi and the BJP? He announced it after the Lok Sabha elections, right just before Rakhi. I remember the first tranche went. That was in August. So he was very clearly, yes. you know, he's been doing all these schemes for his own uh, governance model. Uh, FDI has increased after Ekna Shinde took over. So we've been given a lot of the narrative of governance and how this whole election is as much Ekna Shinde's as the BJP. So it'll be very interesting to see uh, if Ekna Shinde doesn't get it. I would really like to see because he can't be deputy CM. Na? What what will happen to him? He can't be deputy CM to Why Devendra Fadnavis. No, not after CM. He's not going to be agreeing but, to be deputy but CM. But he's, he's, he's a party head. Don't forget. Unlike oh, Devendra Fadnavis, Ekna is the party head. did become deputy CM after being CM also. So why can't Devendra Fadnavis is not the party head. Ekna Shinde is. 
Uddhav Thakre will also never become a VFP CM after being a CM. Na? Okay, well, we're getting there. more news coming in now amidst the suspense over who will be Maharashtra CM. Rumors are raging that Shiv Sena Uddhav faction leaders could possibly switch over to the Shinde faction as well. There are murmurs, in fact, currently that five Uddhav uh, uh, Balasab Thakre Shiv Sena MLAs are looking at jumping ship as we speak. Shiv Sena UBT MLA Prakash Jadav, though, dismissed these rumors. Let's listen in to what he told my colleague Anand shortly ago. उम्मीदवार नए नए उम्मीदवार चुन के आते हैं वो नए हो या रिपीट हो उनकी एक मीटिंग बुलानी पड़ती है और इलेक्शन कमीशन के गाइडलाइंस के तरत तहत वहाँ एक पार्टी व्हीप चुना जाता है एक गठनेता चुना जाता है और एक विधिमंडल नेता चुना जाता है तो विधान परिषद और विधान सभा का विधि� माननीय आदित्य ठाकरे जी को चुना गया और विधानसभा गट नेता मुझे चुना गया और हमारे व्हीप सुनील प्रभु जी को चुना गया सर दूसरी तरफ उदय सामंत कहते हैं कि हमारे संपर्क में यूबीटी के पांच एमएलए हैं क्या तथ्य है ऐसा है कि बार 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 ये ऐसा कहना तो कहने वालों की बहुत लोग मजाक उड़ाते हैं कोई भी बात में सीरियसनेस होना चाहिए उल्टा यही होगा कि जिसको जिसको मिनिस्ट्री नहीं मिलेगी वो शायद वहाँ से निकलेंगे वहाँ से अलग गुट ना बनाए इसलिए वो बोलते होंगे दूसरी तरफ देखने को गए तो दो ठाकरे को सॉरी देवेंद्र फडणवीस फडणवीस जी को अभी मुख्यमंत्री पद पर फाइनल निर्णय लिया है ऐसी एक खबर सामने आ रही है अभी नहीं मुझे मालूम नहीं जब तक अथॉन्टिकली कोई भी खबर आती नहीं तो मेरे जैसे जुम्मेदार आदमी ने उसके ऊपर कमेंट्स करना मुझे ठीक नहीं लगता है। जब सब ने करके ही एक ना सिंधु उधर गए थे। ओके तेजस मेहता कंटिन्यूज़ टू बी विद अस इस वेल तेजस यू नो द फैक्ट ऑफ़ कोर्स इज़ दैट नाउ Interestingly, with these rumors floating around that possibly there could be some other faction MLAs looking to switch over to Eknath Shinde, looking at how the election results have panned out, could this then be used by Eknath Shinde in flexing his muscle, in flexing his clout, in trying to further his case for the Chief Minister's chair today when he comes to Delhi and meets with Amit Shah and JP Nadda? I don't think it, it, it's that simple because at the end of the day, he still can never reach those numbers which the BJP have. Also, BJP brings in far more, you know, weight and clout to the entire, with the center being with the with the BJP to the alliance than what an Eknath Shinde can do. In I think what will happen is in reverse. The BJP will tell the NCP and, uh, you know, uh, the Sena that, look here, now is your opportunity to grab as many leaders as possible and finish off the other smaller factions. They will also show them the lollipop that we have not had municipal election, we have not had panchayat elections. All these will be held now. Cooperatives are huge in Maharashtra. All of these are now waiting to be yours. Okay, so that's a lot to gain for all these, uh, be both these parties because that's where they get a lot of their votes from. Uh, th that's where they can build up their own parties once again. So I, I think there is a lot for uh, you know the. Sh I, I would call them only Shiv Sena now and NCP. So let's now not stop calling them Shinde and uh, uh, you know Ajit Pawar. So NCP and Shiv Sena have a lot to benefit now. So I think they're going to show them that maybe accommodate them a little more in uh, you know in 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 Delhi. And I think that could you know you know solve the the impasse if there at all any if there is any. But uh, you know Eknath Shinde also is a, is a smart man. He also knows that. I mean, he is here ultimately because of the BJP. Yes, the BJP, uh, you know, did survive in the last, uh, you know, they could form a government because of him. And they made him the chief minister. So he's not uh, somebody who is, uh, you know, he's not stupid in that sense or he's not over ambitious that he will just do anything to just to grab power. Right? He's a, he's a, you know, person with some, you know, uh, stability and he has been in politics for many years. So I don't think there's going to be such a big problem. And as I said, they both have lots to gain. Okay. Uh, Rad Lakshmi Joshi, there's also now, uh, interestingly, another clamor that's on. So while the CM's chair is still undecided, 
There is another chair now that is being sought particularly by the Ajit Pawar faction and the Shiv Sena that is a finance ministry. That perhaps also is something that could be decided tonight itself in Delhi. What's your hunch, Raj Lakshmi? Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, you know, the, uh, what I feel is uh, uh, the BJP especially is taking its own time because they want to make sure that all the calculations and everything is properly in place before they can announce anything. So whatever uh, behind the scenes uh, uh, adjustments might be happening, you know, all these ministries, all of that will definitely, all of that will be sorted before any announcement is made. So because uh, the BJP is, is especially one party that actually you don't see any uh, dirty linen being washed in public. So, uh, you know, even if like today you have seen a lot of uh, their alliance partners expressing their views, but then they have not really stayed claim to the post of the chief minister as such. So, uh, what, what you see here is a lot of discipline. So, th they would definitely not want some uh, bad scenes happening after there is this announcement of the name of the chief minister. So, everything will definitely be sorted before there is this uh, announcement. And definitely, I am sure that it is not going to be Ekna Chinde because if that was to be so, they would have announced it the minute the elections were over. If they were so comfortable with having him as the chief minister continuing, then that would have happened immediately. The reason why they are taking this time, I feel, is because they want to have all these adjustments sorted. They want to make sure who is going to be given what ministerial birth yes. and how they are going to be um, pacified and that is how I think that is why I think that they are taking their time but I am sure that after that is done there will not be any bad scenes or ugly scenes because you have seen this joint press conference that they have conducted which was a message in itself ok we are getting more news coming in Rohit Pawar has responded to Ram Shinde's uh, interview to News X where he of course had commented on the video of Rohit Pawar touching Ajit Pawar's feet Rohit has said even Shah denied campaigning for Ram Shinde, not just Ajit Pawar. Rohit Pawar has said even Fadnavis and Adda didn't come. If Shinde feels that I have so much political weight that I will dial BJP leaders and get their campaigns cancelled, then he must think before making such statements. Ajit Dada and Amane was setting. Why do you say that Ajit Dada is one of his friends from his Ram Shinde and Sarah's side of my constituency? अभी आजित दादा का विषय साइड को रखते हैं। अमित शाह साहब ने तो टाइम दिया था, डेट दिया था, लेकिन उन्होंने वो सभा कैंसिल की। देवेंद्र फरीनी साहब नहीं आए थे, नड्डा साहब वहाँ पे आए, हाथ हिला के निकल गए। तो मैं राम शिंदे सर को ऐसा कहना है कि मेरा कांटेक्ट भाजपा के नेता के साथ भी है मैं अमित शाह साहब को भी फोन किया, मोदी साहब को भी किया, यहाँ पे प्रचार मत लो और उनका उनके नेताओं ने वो सुना, मतलब रामचंद्र से ज़्यादा मेरा उनके पक्ष में ज़्यादा चलता है, मेरा वजन मतलब कर्जत जाम करके ये आमदार का वजन उनके पक्ष में केंद्र सरकार में भी बहुत ज़्यादा है, ऐसा कहना पड़ेगा हमसे uh, told you that interview a short while back alleging some sort of uh, Mili Bhagat between Chacha and Bhatija. What is uh, Rohit Pawar said? Yeah, look, uh, Rohit Pawar, when he arrived for the meeting with uh, the Sarat Pawar faction leaders and especially his grand grand uncle, uh, grandfather over here, uh, with Sarat Pawar, where all the leaders of the newly elected MLAs of the NCP SP are present. So, uh, before going inside for the meeting, he commented that uh, if uh, Ram Sinde is making such a statements, uh, we we will just keep apart uh, the part of Ajit Pawar. But he must answer that why Amit Shah, who gave timings to uh, Ram Sinde in Karjar Jamkhed for his campaigning and even for public meeting. Then why did he cancel that at the last moment? He then also mentioned that uh, even Devendra Fadnavis, the party's face in B of the BJP in Maharashtra, didn't campaign for Ram Sinde in uh, uh, Karjar Jamkhed assembly seat. And even when the BJP national president J.P. Nadda came, then he came for very uh, short time over there and he just waved his hands with the public over there and then he returned 
to uh, Mumbai. So these were the things that he made clear to people over here and he then said that if Ram Sinde feels that he has got very good connection with the BJP leaders, uh, he talked about himself and he said that it Ram Sinde feels that uh, if I can make a call to BJP leaders and I can urge them or appeal them not to hold campaign over here, uh, then it's not possible. He must look at what all the statements he is making against his own alliance partner. So he refuted all these claims and he once again hit back at Ram Sinde over his loss uh, in the Karjat Jamkhed seat. However, this time the margin of uh, Rohit Pawar failed there okay. as it was only 12. Okay. Anand, stay with us. Priya uh, Segal is also over. still with us live. Priya, now these, these are interesting, uh, you know, sub stories coming to light even as the tussle continues for who will be CM. Uh, you have now a BJP leader alleging that Ajit Pawar uh, didn't campaign for him uh, and actually helped Rohit Pawar. Uh, you have Shiv Sena leaders who are alleging that BJP didn't help them in eight seats. Otherwise, they could have possibly won those eight seats as well uh, and added to the Shiv Sena Eknath Shinde faction tally. What do you make of these statements? Statement I don't want to get into. This is all just muscle flexing post the event. I'd rather get into the bigger picture of the CM1. And uh, if I may just continue, you know, what uh, we were discussing earlier, why the delay? I think the delay, you know, I, I'm going a bit against logic here. Logic says it should be a BJP CM. Logic says it should be Devendra Fadnavis. Why are they not following the logic? Because for some reason, they don't want to make Devendra Fadnavis or Ekna Chinde or whatever reason. Uh, there are other players in the field, which is not a straight line of credit for De Devendra Fadnavis. So I would see the delay actually the other way around. The delay is uh, works against Devendra Fadnavis because if it had been a simple choice it would the choice is his you know he is the single largest party his face was there on the hoardings he has been denied the seat he's played a good soldier and step back the problem with being obedient and stepping back is they expect that oh this guy step back once he'll step back again you know uh, if devendra Fadnavis rebels where does he go there is very really little nowhere else for him to go so they these are the factors that perhaps and the bjp at the center is not so keen to make him so i would you know logically the seat is his but politically, there is a whole lot of other uh, play over here. Ekna Chinde doesn't, okay. you know, uh, in terms of BJP, he doesn't uh, wreck anyone's vote. Which is why I'm saying that the decision is still not taken. Uh, the, that goes in Ekna Chinde's favor more than Devan the Fadnavis' favor. Otherwise, the alternate thing, uh, Tejas, you were saying, why not um, uh, uh, Ekna Chinde as deputy CM? I would say if Devan the Fadnavis becomes, he'll make his son. Uh, Chinde's son can become uh, deputy CM. That may be a more... You know, with even Uddhav would have been That could be an arrangement which I would, you know, foresee coming. Okay. My thanks to our guests for joining us. As the action shifts to Delhi, we continue to track this on the other side of this uh, very short break. Don't go anywhere.